Good morning, everybody. As you can see, we've made it to the beautiful Castle in the Clouds area. I not very well marked. I have no idea if I'm parking in the right spot, but I'm in some sort of cutoff. Mount Roberts Trail is that way. It's about 6.40 in the morning, and I'm about to head on Mount Roberts. I'm the only one here working on 52 with the view. So I'm gonna get my boots on and skedaddle. All right, here we go. Mount All Roberts. All right, so I'm at the parking. I'm going up to the Mount Roberts Trail, which is down there. And it says parking, but then you go over there and I just parked my car right there. Beautiful moon and sky everywhere. This place is beautiful, but so I'm going to the Mount Roberts Trail, which I guess is down here. So, All right, so we're here at the Mount Roberts Trail. As you can see, it's 2.5 to the summit, still beautiful skies and it just kind of follows this dirt road i guess for a little bit i hope i made the right decision just by wearing sneakers low elevation today it's like 1300 feet of elevation gain it's just right up there probably so i'm gonna try to do this as fast as i can because i plan on going over to mount shaw uh as soon as i get down so yeah Those of you who uh, still think it's winter out, yeah, there's a little bit of snow there, but not on the trail. You can see the sun's still rising, but for those of you who still think it's winter out, uh, think again. No boots, no gaiters. Just full send up this, what well, looks like a fall day, but so probably about half mile in. As you can see, it's starting to go uphill, but I'm feeling so good. Even though I may or might not have just done like 15 miles up in Carter Notch the past three days, uh, feeling good. Ready to bang out two more summits. So, all right, here we go. You can see the views through the trees, but we just hit the viewpoint. So we're gonna get you an even better First thing the view's right down the trail, hang with Holy me. cow. Holy cow, I'm just coming from the viewpoint. I don't even want to turn the camera. It's so beautiful. Watch this. Beautiful, all the lakes regions down there. Absolutely beautiful. Sun's peeking up. It's gonna be a good day. This ain't even a summit. I'm probably about not even a mile in. But just some real things I'm grateful for. I'm really grateful for Project Climb and all the seniors that I had to say goodbye to. Grateful for <clears throat> that I wore my sneakers instead of my boots because I've been running most of this. But so I'm just really grateful. Life's really good. Just hit those sick views and now I'm uh, probably can't see it, but back there, there's the viewpoint sign. So heading back now, <sighs> catch you guys in a little bit. Well, the sun's peeking up. It's getting wicked hot out here. Hitting these rock cairns, honestly, 52 with the view is so grateful for them because I strictly hike in like the White Mountains and what the 52 with the view is getting me out to see some of this lake region stuff. And as you can see, it's just beautiful. And then I still got my mountains right here, but oh, it's so beautiful out here. And I can't even describe it, but just looking at it. So I'm gonna stop sounding stupid and 
get back up to the summit of Mount Roberts. Should be there shortly. So I've been hiking for about 36 minutes, flying, having such a blast. Okay. Take it easy, Alan. All right, catch you guys in a little bit, all right? All right, well, just found a good little stopping point to take a breather. As you can see, these views, lake, mountains, big, huge sun today. And we've kind of been going up this snowy ridge. Thank God for the little orange markings because I'm pretty sure I've been, oh, been one of the only people who's gone up here in a while. But maybe you could only see it, and I can see it. But if you see, there's a ledge somewhere in there and you can see an orange marker and that's where we're going so i will connect with you when we are there i knew i wasn't crazy we're on that ledge i was talking to you about and it's right down that one right down there looks it looks farther i mean it, it looks short but it is far trust me um Okay, I don't know where the trail goes, but, oh, here it is. All right. Feeling good, we should be almost to the summit. It looks like the summit should be right up there. Sorry, that was really weird. All right, get you guys in a little bit. This is so fun. weird after hiking on those open ledges where I always got views on the trail goes this way I'm uh, currently just dipped into this pine forest and honestly it got a lot darker uh, a lot colder and it's actually kind of spooky in here so but kind of going downhill so I'm guessing this is the final push Final downhill, and then it goes one final push up to Mount Roberts. But it's only like 7.45, so I'm kind of cranking. But maybe, all right, well, never mind. This uh, doesn't look like it has an end in sight, so we'll probably catch you guys when um, uh, we're out of this pine forest. So, well, just coming up some steep uphill. Just got out of the pine forest and I hit this trail, or this sign. It says, Mount Roberts Trail, Castle Grounds 2.5. Which is weird because back there it said the summit was 2.5. So that means summit right up here. Blood pumping. Here we go. Time to summit. Honestly, I'm not keeping track of what number I am for 52 with the view just yet. Because even though it's my main goal, I don't know, it's just not important for me yet. So it's right up here. I see the sign. Mount Roberts, everybody. 52 with the view. Hello, everybody. As you can see, I just made it to Mount Roberts. Super hyped. Here's the sign. A little smaller than I thought, but still an amazing summit. As you can see these views, you can see Mount Washington from here. Sun is still out. Skies are still blue. I can even see the moon. There's like this nice little big rock uh, where the summit sign is. And... Yeah, I mean, pushing boundaries, living uncomfortably, but living life. So, Mount Roberts. All right, I'm going to get you the view right now.
well, it's 8.17, it's 8.20, started at 7, so it's been here about 17 minutes. It took me exactly an hour to get up, so two and a half miles in an hour, which is pretty good. I'll get down pretty quickly. So uh, the summit has been really nice, but now I have to leave Mount Roberts here. Elevation 2,582 feet, owned and stewarded by the Lake Lakes Region Castle in the Clouds. So one last look, there's Mount Washington right there, and then some other pretty mountains in the Castle in the Clouds range. But So there's Mount Roberts. Um, yeah, probably won't get much footage on the way down because I'm just going to cruise, try to get down to the car because heading over to Mount Shaw and Black Snow and maybe Big Ball Mountain. Yes, it is called that. But Mount Shaw is my main focus for 52 with the view. So say goodbye to Mount Roberts and uh, yeah. see you guys in a little bit. This was a good summit. So just ran down a little bit of the trail and get into my last super beautiful, amazing viewpoint of this lakes region. So, trail popped out from there. That's all the dense forest that I was talking about earlier, but dang, these, these views. And so, now, I'm not sure, but comment down below, are, are these views better than the ones at the summit? I mean, I wanna know what you guys like. Do you guys like mountains or do you guys like uh, like this lake, Castle McLeod stuff? So, I'm in like Martinboro, New Hampshire. So I don't know where the trail goes. I think it goes right here. All right, I found it. So back on trail. Just wanted to record one last time for these views. And uh, yeah, I'll probably just run down and not record much. I'll catch you guys at that, uh, that viewpoint sign. So, and that's probably where I'll make my last video. So, all right, see you guys in a little bit. Shouldn't be too long. So I just made it back to the viewpoint sign. The view goes, uh, Goes out that way, and you can see all of, all of that lake stuff. But the trail goes this way. Almost done. Just came down a lot of steep uphill that I honestly don't remember going up at all. But I know I did, so. All right. As I said, one summit down. Maybe one more to go. One important one. The other one is just like look out and a sub peak, kind of. But this definitely won't be my last time down here in Castle of the Clouds. The trails, just beautiful. Views are stunning. And then I remind you that this is mid-March and there is no snow here, so. But, all right. See you guys probably when I get down there. Just sent you down this dirt path, back at the castle of the clouds, back at this trailhead, Mount Robert. So I've officially done five miles, even more than that, because it's still like a 0 0.3, 0 0.4 walk to my car, which hopefully is still there. I hope it didn't get towed or whatever, because I parked maybe illegally. In my defense, there was no parking sign. Well, other than the one that I showed you earlier, but uh, don't worry about it. So. This is like a horse, that's like the horse stable, and this is all electric fence. I, want, I guess I probably shouldn't touch it, but. Beautiful day, finished Mount Roberts, heading over to Mount Shaw, still in Castle of the Clouds. Okay, good, my car's still there. All right, I'll meet you guys back at the car. I ain't seven days. I'm not sure if you can see that sign right there, but it says hiker parking only. So 
So I guess I was just supposed to park up here. Which makes sense, because the kiosk, and that's where that guy parked. The kiosk is like right there. So, anyways, finished my hike on Mount Roberts. Um, about to go down, and yeah. I'll see you over at Mount Shaw Trailhead. At the Mount Shaw Trailhead, I guess. That's my car. The road is right there, Route 171, I think. I was completely lost how to ask this um, nice elderly lady who was trying to jog. But I had to ask her where the trailhead was because I came here and this is just this old logging road that literally goes nowhere. And I was confused and I guess because this is privately owned. So Castle in the Clouds doesn't own this yet. So there's not really any markings, but point four in and then I'll see where the trail trail goes. I'll keep you guys updated. Kind of lost and uncertain where the heck I'm going. All right, see you guys in a little bit. Oh, it's still a beautiful day. Maybe Mount, I don't know. I'm just gonna follow this dirt road, see where it takes me. Still haven't found the trail, but I found a pretty dope waterfall. Still haven't found the trail. But I found more sick waterfalls. I think, I think it might be those red blazes. I'm praying. Catch you up in a little bit. Still just kind of following this old trail or like logging road or whatever, but I hit this cairn and then there's a pipe. So I'm guessing that this is now the way I'm going even though it doesn't really look like there's a trail. But we'll see. So still have no idea where I am. No idea what trail I'm on. I'm on some sort of nature trail, but I did hit some good news. Um, I just saw on this. Luckily I looked back and this is Lakes Region Conservation Trust. Um, so obviously we're not on Lakes trust right now that property so there's not it's not going to be marked around private property so anyways luckily i looked back or until when i saw that sign so i know i'm at least going somewhat of the right way but mount shaw still is a questionable summit right now and stream crossing oh all right, almost fell in. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit when uh, I find out where the heck I'm going. For those of you who want to hike Mount Shaw, let me tell you something. Even though you have these gorgeous streams that you pass, I mean, the trail is all just like ice and water and log road. And it's just this, and it sucks. And the only marker is chipped off paint. And look at this. You have to follow this up like this and watch your step, every step. Because it's all just runaway water. Honestly, this hike has been miserable so far. I have no idea where I am. I'm just waiting for some sort of sign. Well, I'm officially lost. Just following this beaten down trail right now. I haven't seen a red marker in about a while just following this weird guy's footsteps that I saw I'm guessing this is the way I literally just climbed up this hill and found this so I'm taking it as far as I can keeping my eye out for red but 
have gained a lot of elevation so this is this has got to be one of the dumbest hikes I've ever done this is dumb I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of mad right now yeah see footprints that aren't my own so just following this guy well I'm continuing up Mount Shaw and I just did I just went straight up that hill all the way up to the top and I followed this guy's footsteps and I got completely lost, right? I had to turn around, get back down here. Uh, probably like 30 minutes of lost. Um, I found this Karen and then I found that Karen right there. So I guess I have to cross this sketchy river and I'm just gonna see where that takes me. Um, I know I can turn around now, but I've gone too far and I need to summit Mount Shaw. So basically I was completely lost and I think I found the trail and I need to do this uh, really sketchy river crossing. So, wish me luck. Here we go. Well, made it across the river. Just coming right down there. Back on trail. For now, probably gonna get lost again, but man, badly marked, miserable trail. Found the red blaze. It's all ice. Okay. All right. Looks like we're going up there. Frick yeah. So happy. Oh. After just my, we just climbing up steep, no trail. I bushwhacked my way to this. Black Snout Trail. Black Snout Summit 0.7. Mount Shaw Summit, one mile. Now, I'm actually on this trail. As you can see, it's marked by these white things. And it's actually trail now. Oh. There it is. One more mile. Oh, God. All right, well, coming up on this weird looking thing. Just saw this really elderly guy. Like, gotta be someone's grandpa. Said he owns the farm down there. Been hiking this a lot. He didn't think this... He didn't seem to think the trail was that bad, but... Probably because he hikes it every day, but yeah, look, there's this weird fence. He said it goes to the left, but there's an orange sign, and I want to see what it says. Oh, oh, it just says no snowmobiles. Okay, so it keeps coming up here, and oh, look, there's some sort of trail. Hey, I didn't even see this. Look, all right, yeah, this guy must, yeah, look, there it is. Mount Roberts, 5.3. That's where I just was. And then over here. Mount Shaw, 0.4. So, looks like now I actually... After what felt like forever of hiking, I can finally say I've made it to Mount Shaw. And views are amazing. You can see the whites. I'll show you it in the next one, but finally made it to Mount Shaw. Two summits today, ready to work my way back down. Oh God, everything hurts. Alright, well, spent my time enjoying the views of Washington and all these other mountains and finally hitting Mount Shaw, which is right there. Ate a little bit of lunch, kind of feeling pretty sucky. I'm going to go this back way. 
don't know, there's just a weird sign and a glove. Hi, let's go. Okay. Well, I can't say that's the weirdest thing I've seen, so. Yeah. Oh, it looks like there's a little squirt trail here. But I'm not going to take it. I'm not going down to Black Snout either. So, yeah. Well, there's the last view. Sorry, that got cut off. But Summit Sign's right down there. And leaving now. Probably won't record much at all. Probably just when I get back to the Black Snout Sign. But, all right. Yay, two more summits. Mount Shaw. See you guys in a little bit. Heading back down. 2.5 miles left. Well, we may have a little bit of an accident. Accident. I may have just dropped my full smart water bottle off of this. It went all the way down there, and it's uh, I lost it. Well, it's somewhere down there. And I don't, it literally said there on the sign, do not litter. So I feel so bad. But I, I can't see it, so... And obviously I can't go in that water. It will turn up. The only good news is it had mold growing on it anyways. I might be it down there, but it's somewhere in there. Well, what can you do? Hey, let's go boys. Let's go. It fell all the way up there. Eh. All the way up there, and it came down all the way to right here. Let's go. Now I can't be find a bunch of money for littering. Oh, look, a trip. Let's go, boys. Funny how that worked out. Well, I know I complained a lot about this trail and got lost for an hour and uh, had a steep climb to the summit. It really wasn't that bad. I mean, it was really actually kind of fun. Uh, it's, I can't believe I'm saying that now. But just following this old logging road out, which is actually really peaceful. Oh, rocky though. Loose. But following this old logging road out, only seen two other people. But. Yeah, today was a good day. Mount Roberts and Mount Shaw. So. All right, well, actually, I got down here to my car, ready to go home. But I actually just saw um, someone who does Nordic from Maltenboro. Um, his name is Dakota, and we met last year at J2s. And it's just weird that, like... Well, he lives like five minutes from here, and he, uh, he's finishing his OCP range today. So, shout out to Dakota for finishing his OCP range. I didn't think, I've never, ever seen someone that I've known while hiking. So, that was cool. Yeah, so, finished Mount Shaw and Mount Roberts, heading home. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, drop it a like. If you loved it, subscribe, comment. Have a good day, guys. Go hike a freaking mountain. Mount Shaw, Mount Roberts, 52 with a view.